Hi everyone, welcome to this Twinmotion 2020.2 tutorial. In this one, we are going to have an in-depth look at the new smart doors introduced with this new version. So first off, uh, here I'm using a Narchicad project that you may have already saw on another tutorial. Uh, right now, this model already contains some doors. So what I will need to do is um, I did the door inside Archicad because I want to use the door that we have inside Twinmotion. So first of all, let me um, click on this Find and Select tool over here. I'm going to select my doors. I'm going to click on plus, and here I selected all my doors. Um, small tips, I will be using the replace object inside Twinmotion to replace all my doors by some Twinmotion doors. So what I will do here is just export a separate FBX containing all those doors. So let me just click on File, uh, Save As. I'm going to send this to my desktop. I'm just going to rename that Doors. In uh, this dialog over here, I'm going to choose the No Merge option to keep the hierarchy of all my doors. And I'm going to export only the selection. So here yeah, I've exported my doors. What I need to do now is hide the doors inside my Archicad file. To do that, I will click on uh, this Settings dialog over here. And on the 3D detail level, I'm going to switch to Off. Basically, it will remove all the doors from the visibility in the viewport, but it will leave the hole. Now that's done, I will come to my Twinmotion tab. Just checking the settings, it's set by uh, Merge by Material, that's fine for this project. I'm going to click on Direct Link to start a new project. Sending just the data will take a couple of seconds to load that in. Here we go. So let me just lower the starting ground. For this project, I've created a context. So let me just open my, uh, my context and import it. Now that's done, let's come inside. Just going to change the time of day so we have a nice uh, sun impact inside the project. So as you can see here, we have the project with just the hole without any doors. So a first way to add the doors is to open the library come to the objects, doors. Here we added two different kind of door, the rotating door and the sliding door. Let's first check the rotating door. To add the doors to your project, it's just a basic drag and drop tool. As you can see here, we have this uh, blue rectangle that appears that is telling you that the door will be automatically fitted into this hole when you drag, when you leave the mouse. So we have created an automatic placement tool that will just place the tool in the correct spot. It analyzes the geometry surrounding it, and when there is a spot that will fit, it's highlighted in blue. For example, here, as you can see here, we have sometimes... It tried to put it in uh, the window over here, but it won't work. It's highlighted in red, that means the door won't fit. But here, when it's blue, it's fine. Once you added your door, at the bottom of the screen, we have plenty of settings to customize the door. First, you have the style. So even after you choose, for example, the simple rotating door number one, you can still change the, uh, the style of your door. After that, you can change the trigger type. Uh, for example, here it's uh, set to trigger. That means that when you enter the radius that you can see on the ground over here, the door will automatically open. But you can change this behavior, you can switch to always open or always closed. In the more over here, you can change the trigger radius. But you can also uh, choose what is affecting this uh, trigger. So for example, by default, it's everything. So the camera, the character on the path, and the custom path actor. And you can also choose a delay where uh, when the character or the camera exit the trigger radius, there will be a delay before the doors start to close. Then we have uh, the side. So right now it's right hand, but you can switch to left hand. In this mode over here, you can change uh, the position of the door if it's inward or outward. And you can choose the uh, opening angle. 
Let me just come back here. Next thing, we have the dimension. Uh, the dimension, you can change the width of the, the door. Uh, right now, it's a bit in my uh, in my wall, so let me just move it like that. So you can change the width, you can change the height, and you can also change the framing. So here, you can change with a basic scale the framing, but if you go in the more of the framing, you can really completely customize uh, the style of your framing, of the, the interior design of the door. You can also, of course, change the color of your door. So if I select my material picker here, I can change the color of the door individually from the casing. Uh, next thing, uh, in the style, there is multiple other options, like changing uh, the handle style. Oop. Let's uh, have a look here. So we can change uh, the handle. You can change uh, the inch, so you can basically turn it on and off to have the inch visible. You can disable the casing. If, for example, if in your project you already have your casing, you can disable the casing and use your own. And in the more of the casing, we have a different style of casing, and you can also change the width and the thickness of a casing. So this is basically how the uh, rotating door work. We have also uh, the double rotating door that work uh, in a similar fashion. Uh, here you can uh, choose the side to open to be only one side, right, left, or both. That means that when the camera will moving, uh, all the, both doors will open at the same time. And you have all the same other option. And then we have also the same thing with the simple uh, simple sliding door and double sliding door. So same process, but with a few different options. Like the, the, the style, of course, is different uh, for the handle um, and a few other options, but it's, it's really pretty similar. So um, this is a quick overview of the doors. Now let's have a look at how you can have um, a quick workflow going from Archica to Twinmotion. So I've imported my file uh, without my doors. Now I've, uh, as you remember at the beginning of this video, I exported a .fbx file containing just the doors inside my architect file, uh, inside my Archicad file. So what I will do is come to the import doc. I will look for my fbx file on my desktop, which is doors.fbx. In the Collapse option, I just need to make sure to choose the Keep Hierarchy option. So I will keep the hierarchy in my 3D model. And when I click OK, it will import all my doors. If I select my door, as you can see, the pivot point is at the middle, uh, at the bottom of my door. It's because I've set this up inside my Archicad file. If I come back to Archicad and select, um, just select my door, and as you can see here, you can see that the anchor point, you can define where the anchor point is uh, on your door. So the anchor point is placed here, that's fine. Now what I will do is open my scene graph. Here I will select my door. What I will do is just right click on it, click on replace object, and I will just drag and drop my door from my library to uh, the Dropbox over here, and I'm just going to click on Start Replace to replace my door. So here I did that with just this one, but what I can do is just select all my door uh, that are sharing the same um, status, the same style. For example, it's the D03, uh, so let me just type D03. So all those doors here should be sharing the same style, similar as this one. So what I will do here is right click, replace object, and just going to click on start replacement to replace all my door by this one. And now if I want to customize my door, I will just uh, select all my door in my scene organizer and I can change, for example, uh, the side to open on this side on the left. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Um, thanks everyone for watching this, this quick tutorial. Uh, hope you find that helpful and see you for the next one. Bye everyone.